demonstrate how I got this gray, pink, and black gel nail design. And so, if you're interested in watching this tutorial, then just stay tuned. going to start with fresh, clean nails, and I'm going to apply a product called OPI Bond Aid. This prepares the nails so that the gel will stick and not lift off, and it will keep your gel manicure fresh for up to three to four it's a very watery consistency and it dries almost instantly. And I just paint it all along the nails on every nail. And I'm going to take the gelish foundation, which is their base coat, and I'm going to apply it all over every nail, making sure to get a nice, even layer. And I try to focus on not getting any on the cuticles or sides of the nail. This base coat will help the gel layers that we put on afterwards to adhere better and to not stain the natural nail, which can happen sometimes when you use a dark color or a richly pigmented color. This particular base coat lasts a really long time. I notice that whenever I remove the gel nail, base coat sticks a lot longer than all the other layers. So, this is a good base coat, and I like this brand for, for that product. Just make sure to get every nail carefully, and then I'll have to cure it in a LED light. Typically the cure will be for 30 to 45 seconds. And that will harden the base coat. And it instantly dries it. And I'll need to apply this rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad. And you'll need to rub the 
alcohol on every nail and this will remove the sticky layer that is left behind after you cure the base coat or any of the coats actually by removing this it helps the other products to adhere better to the base coat I'll be using the Gelish Structure Gel. The purpose of this product is to thicken the nail and strengthen it so that I can grow my nails out long and they won't break. I use my hands a lot. And if I didn't use this product, my nails would break pretty quickly. So, even if I don't feel like putting a color on my nail, I will never go without at least putting this product. usually even apply two layers of it. Just to have that extra thickness and protection. This product can be purchased at Amazon.com. It's where I got They make an even more strengthening one. Um, it's in a black jar instead of a white. And that one is much harder. And if you have an extremely thin nail, break very easily and you want that acrylic type feel without the thick sort of outdated appearance of the acrylic then I would recommend checking out that product I prefer the structure gel because it's a little more flexible and it offers really good protection for the nails but it removes um, fairly easily with acetone whereas the other one is, does take a little longer to remove after I make sure the layers are nice and even need to cure this structure gel in the LED lamp as well, making sure to cure every nail. Then I'll need to apply the second coat, the structure gel. This will really ensure that can grow my nails out long without without any sort of breakage or chipping or cracking. So that's good. Really focusing on the parts the nails that are prone to breakage, which is the tip and the sides. And making sure it's nice and even. Curing in the LED lamp once more. And then once again, with the rubbing alcohol, I'll 
be wiping off the sticky layer that's left behind after you cure the structured gel. It's quite simple to do. You just massage the nail with the alcohol soap. making sure to get every nail. Now I'm going to use the Madame Glam Gel Polish. This is in the color Splendid. When I first got this color, I wasn't sure that I would like it. When applied to the nail, I ended up actually really liking the color. It's a soft gray with just the slightest hint of purple. And to be honest, this color reminds me of Totoro. <laughs> Every time I wear it, what I think of. Totoro. And I think it's really cute. Then I'm going to pick up the Madame Glam gel color. And spring petals. And I'm going to paint this all over my middle finger. This is a soft, cool toned baby pink. Normally, with these pastel types of colors, I would recommend applying a white color first, but this one is very pigmented and opaque, so I was able to get away with without applying the white coat first. Then I'm going to, of course, cure in the LED light. Next, I'm going to apply a second coat of the Madame Glam Splendid Color. I feel like the color name of this should have been Totoro. I really like gray. Gray is one of my favorite colors. to see any scratches on my hands or arms. That is 100% the fault of my cat, Kimchi, who is a terror. <laughs> I love him, but he is indeed a terror. Applying a second coat the baby pink color to my middle finger and trying to get it as even as possible. If I make any mistakes or get any on the edges, I simply wipe it away with a nail. Definitely want to do that before you cure it in the LED light. Finishing off the rest of the nails with the 
gray color. Making sure to get it even and no streaks. Getting all the way up to the edges, but not onto the skin. Once you cure it, it will harden, and if any is on the skin, then you rest the nail color peeling off rather than lasting the three to four weeks that it should. Once again, just carrying it in the LED light and applying a second coat to make sure it's completely opaque, streak-free, and richly pigmented. I really like the creaminess of this color. It's really pretty. Then I'm going to take the baby pink spring petals color. Just paint that all over the middle finger. This is the nail that I'm going to do the design on. So, it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect because a portion of it will be covered up. for pinks or pastel colors because I prefer darker colors, but this one is really pretty. Then I'm carrying in the LED light again, as usual. Now I'm taking the gelatin. Just applying a tiny black stripe only on the tips of the nails. I just really like the way this looks with the black and the gray. And it's just enough that it doesn't take away from the color. It accentuates of every nail. Just at the very tip. I'm trying to get it as even as possible. I'm going 
into freehand paints a triangle on the ends of the pink nail with the black color. I'm going to do this freehanded because because it doesn't need to be perfect. Because I'm going to cover the edges with some black crystals. If I wasn't going to do that, then I would recommend removing the sticky layer with an alcohol soaked patch and then using tape to get a crisp. to be covering the edges anyway. I just did it freehanded. I always love the color combination of the black and the baby pink. It gets really pretty. Making sure to get all the way to the ends of the nail. And then, of course, curing it in the LED light. You'll need to go over the black triangle at least make sure that it's completely opaque and black and none of the pink is showing underneath. Now I'm going to pick up the black For the crystals, I apply it thicker than I would normally. This is to help 
seal in the crystals so they don't come off the nail. This also has UV protection so that your nail color won't yellow or fade in the sunlight. Then I'm going to apply these same black crystals all along the triangle. them around lightly to get them to the placement more alike. I like the way these black crystals catch the light too. They have a unique shine to them. And I just also have a gelish matte top coat, which is fun to use sometimes, but the majority of the time I prefer the glossy. I went ahead and cured this in the LED lamp an extra time, just because the thickness of the top coat over the nail jewel wanted to make sure it was cured. And I'm going to take the cotton pad and remove the sticky layer off of the top coat. Just gently massaging the alcohol all over the nail. Make sure there's no sticky layer. And then, because the alcohol can be drying, I like to apply this lotion. Massage it all over, making sure 
to massage it into the cuticles to help with the dryness caused by the alcohol in the products. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. questions.